Welcome to lesson 2, grade 10, the geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is a sequence in which we can get the succeeding term by multiplying the previous term to the fixed number called the common ratio. In Tagalog, makukuha natin yung next term kapag minultiply natin yung previous term doon sa fixed number na tinatawag na common ratio. Example tayo. Meron tayong 2, 6, and 18. Meron tayong fixed number. Kapag minultiply natin, makukuha natin yung next term. Dito, makukuha natin yung common ratio na yun, which is sabihin natin R, common ratio. If we're going to divide the second term, so this is our A1, the first term, A2, and A3. Common ratio, A2 divided by A1. So that means in arithmetic sequence, makukuha natin yung common difference naman doon by subtraction. Dito naman, kay common ratio, makukuha natin siya by division. Next, ito yung tinatawag natin common ratio. Para daw makuha natin yung next terms, i-multiply lang natin yung common ratio dun sa previous term. So dito, yung R natin, the common ratio is 6 over 2. Ayan. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Okay. Kuyo natin yung mga next terms. Multiply lang natin. 18 times 3. So, para makuha yan, 18 times 3, that is 8, 16, 24. Carry 2. 3 times 1 plus 2. So, next is 54. So, ito na ngayon si A4. Para makuha si A5, multiply ulit natin si 54 ng 3. So, 54 times 3, that is 12, carry 1, 15 plus 1, 16, 160. What if your teacher asks you, what is the ninth term of the sequence? Yung sa pinagin natin example kanina. So, nakuha natin hanggang A5. Ano daw si pang ninth term? So, kung sa arithmetic, may formula tayo, syempre kay geometric, meron din tayong formula. To get the nth term, we have a n is equal to a1 times r raised to n minus 1. a n, ito yung hinahanap nating term, the nth term. a1, that means the first term. r is the common ratio. And n, ito yung hinahanap nating term. So, kawin natin si 9th term gamit yung formula. So, A9, kasi yung hinahanap natin, is equal to A1, ang A1 natin ay 2, so i-write natin si 2, times R, ang R natin, na compute kanina, which is 3, 3, raised to N minus 1, that is 9 minus 1. So, 2, times 3 raised to 9 minus 1. That is 8. So, huwag natin kakalimutan yung PEMDA. So, mauna muna si exponent bago tayo mag parenthesis. So, multiply natin 2 times 3 raised to 8. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng calculator. O, dun sa iba, hindi sila inaalaw na gumamit ng calculator. O, try natin i-solve mentally. 3 times 3, that is 9, times 3, 27, times 3, 81. So, 81 times 3, so yung pang fifth term natin, 81 times 3, that is 3, 8, 16, 24, 243. And yung pang fifth, pang fifth pala. Next, ito yung A5. Para makuha si A6, Times 3 ulit. So, 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4. 12. Carry 1. 3 times 2. 
6 plus 1, 7, 2, 9. So, 8, 6. Next, 8, 7 tayo, times 3. Or magkos 8, 7. 9 times 3, 27, carry 2. 3 times 2, 6 plus 8, plus 2, 8. Next, 7 times 3, 21. So, 2, 1, 8, 7. So, 8, 7 yan. Times 3 ulit. So, 2, 1, 8, 7 times 3, 7, 14, 21. 1, carry 2. 8, 16, 24, 25, 26. Carry 2. 3 plus 2, 5, and 6. 6, 5, 6, 1. 6, 5, 6, 1. Siya ngayon si 3 raised to 8. Next, 2 times 6, 5, 6, 1. So, multiply natin 6, 5, 6, 1 times 2. So, 2. 6 times 2, 12. Carry 1. 2 times 5, 10 plus 1, 11. 6 times 2, 12. So, our A9 is... 12,122. Ayun. Pwede din naman natin gamitin yung mano-mano or the manual way. So, imumultiply lang natin ng 3. I-verify natin gamit ang calculator. So, nasa A5 na tayo. 163 times 3 para makuha sa A6. 163 times 3. So that is 486. 486. And ngayon si A6. Next. Times 486 times 3. 1458. Ito ngayon si A7. Next. 1, 4, 5, 8 times 3, 4, 3, 7, 4. Ito ngayon si A8. And last, times 3, 13,122. Pares ba? Ay, nagkamali tayo sa pag-multiply dito. So, may carry tayo dito, 5 times 2, 10, 11, carry 1. So, 6 times 2, 12, plus 1, 13. So, 13. Sorry for that. So, ayun, parehas lang naman siya, si A9. So, isama din natin, ang geometric sequence, makukuha yung next term by multiplication or by division. So, ang common ratio, makukuha siya, a2, the second term, divided by A1, the first term. So, yun lang si geometric sequence.